Hello everybody. Let us continue the topic balancing of chemical equation. Here I have taken example of combustion of methane. Just remember before going to balance a chemical equation you have to learn 1 to 20 elements its atomic number and element names. So here what I have done the methane formula you have to know. What is the formula of methane? Carbon plus 4 hydrogens together will get a methane and then oxygen. What is the symbol of oxygen? Symbol of oxygen is O and the oxygen molecular formula is O2. That means I have taken O and one more O then I got O2. Like this I have written for the methane also. So to write all these things in the formulas you have to know 1 to at least 20 elements its atomic number and its element name. Then I took combustion of methane. Combustion means it is a any reaction which takes place in the presence of oxygen. Methane plus oxygen and then I am getting products. You know already in the previous class we have completed our chemical equation. Then I said what is meant by LHS and what is meant by RHS. LHS means left hand side and RHS means right hand side. Left hand side will get reactants and RHS means right hand side we can call it as products. Then I got products as carbon dioxide and water molecule and reactant side methane and oxygen. In this after reacting in the presence of oxygen I got carbon dioxide and water molecule. This reaction is called as skeleton equation. Skeleton equation means the equation which is not exactly balanced. Okay then we are going to balance. What exactly balance means? Here I ha you have to take how many number of carbon atoms are there. Before writing the carbon atoms or hydrogens or oxygens you have to remember the step one that is what is C. C means carbon means in the alphabets C comes first and then H for hydrogen H for hydrogen C for carbon and then O O for oxygen. How many type of elements are there? In this equation carbon, hydrogen and oxygen only three type of elements are there that you have to write in the site. Here you have to write and then now you see the first letter of this each element name. You got carbon C, hydrogen H, O, oxygen O. In this if you see the alphabetical order which letter comes first? First it will come, first carbon and then hydrogen and then oxygen according to the alphabets. Then you take carbon first and then hydrogen according to the alphabetical order you write here. First carbon and then hydrogen and then oxygen. After writing these elements now you see how many number of carbon atoms are there on the left hand side? How many are there? Just you count. How many are there? Only one carbon is there. No carbons here. I am writing only one. Okay. And then hydrogens. You count how many hydrogens are here? Only four are there. Here four hydrogens are there. That means just remember hydrogen means four. H4 means H plus H plus H plus H. 1, 2, 3, 4. I am writing it as H4. So, how many are there? 4. Left hand side. Now you count number of oxygens. How many oxygens are there? Uh, like hydrogen, we have to count number of oxygens, we have only 2. Now you go to the right hand side product side that means how many carbons are there right carbons only one is there and then hydrogens go to hydrogens here no hydrogens and this side only two are there I am writing two and then go to oxygens 
oxygen here 2 and then 1. 2 plus 1 here it is 3. Now you see how many carbon atoms are here? Left hand side 1 and right hand side 1. That means it is already balanced. Now I am going to hydrogen. Right, left hand side 4 and the right hand side 2 are there. That means it is not balanced then I should balance. That means I have to add more number of hydrogens towards right side. Then I have to take this skeleton equation in the step 2. I have written here see balancing of hydrogen. Sorry balancing of hydrogen. Balancing of hydrogen. To balance the hydrogen, I have to write this skeleton equation here. CH4 plus oxygen gives CO2 plus H2O. Now, which side it is less? That means here number of hydrogens are less towards right side that means this side how many are there here two are there and this side four are there to get more two what i should do where are the hydrogens in this co2 no hydrogen so i have to go to water molecule already two are there then i should multiply with some one more number what is that number if i will take one you start from one it is better always you remember while writing the balancing of equations you have to start from the number 1 then you multiply with this number whatever it is there in the down that is called as here subscript this number is called as subscript okay now what I am doing 2 I am taking and then I am multiplying I am trying to balance with a 1 2 into 1 if I will write 1 here, 2 ones are 2. That means again I will get only 2. That means it will not balance. Then what I should write? 1 after 1, the 2. So if I will write 2 here, 2 twos are count. 2 twos are 4. Then I will get 4 hydrogens here. Here also already 4 are there. Then it is balanced. Okay. Then you go to the next one. What is that element? Oxygen. Oxygen here, 2 are there and here this side, that means right hand side, 3 are there. Which side it is more? Right hand side it is more and left hand side it is less. Then the third step is balancing of oxygens. Now you have to write one more equation. Don't write skeleton equation now. You write the equation which is balanced till hydrogen. That means I am taking the equation from step 2. I am writing again the same equation from the step 2. Two h 2 o Now you write, you just see how many number of oxygens are here 2 and this side it is 3. Count here 2 are there and here 2 plus. Now if you see after balancing the hydrogen this number has changed. Here 2 oxygens and two oxygens. Two into two is four for only hydrogen. Here no subscript. That's why only two oxygens we should count. And here two oxygens. Two plus two again I got four oxygens towards right hand side. Then only two are there. Then what I should do to get a four. The same thing what I have done to the hydrogen. The same thing I should write here two. Then only I will get two to the four. Then just write the say all the numbers here for all the elements check once carbon left hand side one and then hydrogen four then oxygen it is four and then again in the right hand side count the carbon one and then oxygen if you count two plus two total it is sorry for hydrogen you count first two to the four and then count for the oxygen here 2 and then 2 you will get total 4. Now if you see 1 4 4 and here also 1 4 4. So in the step 3 the equation is balanced. So the step 1 it is skeleton equation and the step 3 this is called balanced equation. Now I am going to give some examples to practice.
oxidation of iron just you write oxidation of iron i am not writing symbol of iron just you try to write okay so iron symbol is f e okay symbol which is derived from the latin name ferrum the first two letters they have taken as a symbol for iron okay so what is oxidation of iron means oxy means in the name itself it is there oxygen after getting oxidized iron will convert into iron oxide means you can also write it as ferric oxide so writing all these names in the next session we will learn this is iron and this is already you know oxygen so now what you have to write lhs this is again r h s now i i am writing iron f e and then oxygen and then same the two type of elements are there one is oxygen one is oxygen and one is iron only two are there that's why i have written only two that means in the in alphabets which letter will come first i so you have to take f e and then the second element is oxygen now if you just you count how many irons are there only one is there so i am writing one and number of oxygens here in the subscript i have written only two then two and go to rhs that is product side f e two how many irons are there two only two are there and oxygen sir three here two iron is not balanced and oxygen is also not balanced then what i have to do i have to take first a skeleton equation in the step 1 to balance iron now i am taking the same instead of writing again i am writing i am taking the same example here iron only one is there and here that side is two so which side it is less and this side is less left side then i have to add more number of irons in the left side how many here two are there i should write two then if you count generally two and two irons it is balanced now the same equation in the step 3 i have to write 2 f e plus oxygen i am getting f e 2 o 3 i got f e 2 o 3 and 2 f e and o 2 so what i should do now i have to balance oxygen because left side is 2 and right side is 3 2 f e and 2 f e this side i have only 2 then what i should do now 3 means i can't as it is a odd number i can't take 3 ones are 3 3 twos are 6 but here two are there two ones are two means generally i will not get three as it is odd number and it is a exactly opposite which is even number i can't take two a table then what i have to two threes are the same three whatever is there that i am writing here so now what i got two threes are or three twos are six i got that means even number then here you write six and then here fe2 o3 here you got 2 and here you got 6 to equalize oxygen here now the left right hand side now i got only 3 but in the right hand left hand side i got 6 then what i should do same 3 to the 6 3 to the 6 2 fe2 o3 i got now if you observe see here number of iron or 
4 and number of oxygen elements are 6 and here oxygens are 6 but again iron number is changed. Then what I should do again I have to rub it and add more number of irons. Which, is, which side it is less? Left hand side. Then I should add more number of. How tomatoes I will add in the grocery shop. Like this I should add more number because it is going down and it is getting up because it is light in weight. Then number of oxygen are, uh, irons are 4. Here I should write directly 4 because nothing is there to disturb. So 4 Fe and 2 twos are 4 Fe. 2 3s are 6 oxygen and 3 2s are 6 oxygen and here I got 4. Now if you observe 4 6 4 6. Did you all get? Okay. 4 6 and 4 6 this reaction is balanced. So one thing you remember while writing the numbers here to balance write with the pencil not with the pen. Because whatever I have done here, two Fe I wrote. But whenever I come, whenever I came to this last step, then I got changed. Here the number has changed to four. That means again you have to rub. That means you can't rub with the eraser when you'll write with the pen. So you have to write with the pencil. Then you can erase nicely. Then there is, there will be no scribbling. It will look more neat if you'll write with the pencil. So. Like finally, the numbers what I am writing the left side of the elements are called as coefficients. Coefficients. I can call it as coefficients. What are coefficients here? 4, 3, 2. Got it? These numbers are called as coefficients which we use to balance a chemical equation. So if some, th some in some questions they will ask like what is the sum of coefficients of reactants? If they will ask like this, what is the value of sum of the coefficients in this balanced chemical equation? What you have to do after writing this formulas for this equation and then you have to balance the chemical equation and then you after getting total balanced equation like this you have to add the numbers 4 plus 6 is equal to 10. 10 is your answer that means because they asked only the question that what is the sum of the coefficients of reactants but not the products. So sum of the coefficients of the reactants means 4 and 3 are there. Sorry, I have written this. 4 and 3, these two th are coefficients. So 4 plus 3 is 7. Got it? This 4 plus 6 is total number of atoms. That is not required. Sum of the coefficients means only the left side number of this elements you have to take. Then you will get the answer as a 7. If they will ask what is the sum means there is no other number to add so as it is the answer is 2 for this. Got it? So with this I will end the topic balancing of chemical equation. Thank you.